Today we're gonna to pour a concrete countertop and I'm gonna show you how we do it. Here we go. So water, it's the black pigment. This is pre-bagged face coat mix. So this is water reducer. We form concrete countertops out of black melamine in our shop. We actually form them upside down so that when we are spraying this face coat mix into the forms, that will actually become the surface of the countertop once we flip them over tomorrow. All right, we're gonna start mixing for the backer coat. And the first thing we do is add water, resin, and color, and then sand, and then Portland, and then fiber, in that order. Here we go. The backer coat is basically the same as the face coat mix, but we do add a high dose of fiber which gives the concrete a tremendous amount of strength without the need for traditional reinforcement like rebar. For more information about our exact concrete mix recipe, check the link in the description below. The next day, once the forms are stripped and the countertops are flipped over, we are ready to start polishing the surface. Sometimes when we polish the concrete, it exposes voids in the surface. When that happens, we have to mix a material to patch the holes. This mix is basically the same as our face coat mix, only we leave out the sand. Hey, I just want to interrupt for a minute. This is my favorite part of the video. We had a stiff concrete mix. We added plasticizer powder. Once we mixed the powder in, it almost looks like we added a bunch of water, but um, it's crazy because we didn't, because it was just powder. Anyways, back to Nui. After the patching material has cured overnight, we polish the countertops one more time. Once we're done polishing, it's time to clean up the countertops and get them ready for sealer. We do this by wetting the countertops down with water and then spraying on a muriatic acid and water solution across the entire surface. After the solution sits for a few minutes, we flush the countertops with water and then squeegee off the excess and let them dry overnight.
Hey, if you enjoyed this video, it would be really helpful to me if you would click the like button down below. If you want to learn more about the tools and materials that we use, check the description below. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.